What if team center visualization? Where is your company design data stored? Better yet, how do you access it? These days, all data likely originates from the CAD. But CAD systems are complex and are mainly accessible only by those people who use them the most and are trained to do so, the designers. So even finding simple things like a part number or a revision or making a measurement or cutting a section, or even just accessing a drawing, requires a designer. Or at the very least, having access to a CAD station and a CAD license. But it makes no sense to equip the entire company with expensive CAD licenses. So what if you didn't have to ask a designer? What if there is a way for anyone in the company to access all that master data that didn't require a high-end workstation, or an expensive CAD license, and it was easy to use. Well, there is. With JT, the CAD Digital Twin. And the tool is Team Center Visualization. So how does TC Biz and JT compare to CAD, relatively speaking, in a non-design way? You don't need an expensive high-end workstation to run PCViz. In fact, you could use a mobile device, such as a tablet. And the cost of a visualization license is a fraction of a CAD license. JT files are smaller than CAD files, on the order of about one-tenth the size. This is because they don't contain the history of how the part was made. This means you can load a lot more data in a lot less time. TCBiz is easy to use and easy to learn. After a four-hour training course, anyone will confidently interact with JT assemblies and easily gather all of the metadata and analysis information they require. It's fast, easy, and intuitive. JT files may be small, but they're just as accurate as CAD. JTs are created from the CAD files, so they contain the same precise geometry information. You won't have to compromise with quality by using JT. But is TC Biz really that fast and easy? But what if you had to open a full vehicle model to investigate parts for a design review? With TC Viz, it really is easy to open, explore, display, search, and interact with the CAD Digital Twin. But this is just the beginning. TCBiz is a tool which allows any user, whether CAD savvy or just a viewer, to interact with 3D data as part of their day-to-day -day activities. What if that design review involved a large number of parts? Although searches are simple, why not prepare views of each part in advance using the TCViz snapshot feature, which is right here underneath the tab that looks like a piece of film. And it's as easy as add. Whatever is in the viewing window is now saved here. We can even isolate all the parts we need and create snapshots for them. Now, at any time in our open TCViz session, we can return to a particular view without having to recreate it. What if you need to find a measurement that doesn't appear in any drawing? No worries, you can make measurements in TCViz with CAD Precision, easily. Just enable the measurement tool and select the features that you want to measure. Selection is made easy because the features highlight as you hover over them. You can make as many measurements as you want of any type in any direction. This distance, radius, 
even part properties. The labels remain square to view, even as it rotates, and have leader lines which point to the measurement. Selecting the label will highlight the features that were used. The measurements will stay on screen until you delete them, so there's plenty of time to make note of them or put them in a snapshot. You can delete them one at a time or all together. What if you need to see a cross-section view to check out the interface between hidden components in a subassembly or a manufacturing coordinated cut plane? You can use TCViz. Just enable the section tool, choose a plane, and clip the geometry to see an internal view. You can position the plane interactively using the slider or just enter a desired coordinate. You can add multiple planes in multiple orientations, switch between them by selecting the border, and clip up to six planes in a view. Now that we can see that tricky interface, let's measure it. What if you want to share your work with colleagues? Well, first of all, you can save your work locally using the Save Session menu command. The resulting session file will contain everything that you've done that's still active in a window or a snapshot. And the best part is, session files don't contain any JT geometry, just references to it, because the originals are stored in the database or digital buck. This means the session file is tiny and can easily be sent as an email attachment. This also means that the only people who can open the session file are colleagues and suppliers with legitimate access to the database. Let's say we received an email from a colleague who found an interference between the dash and floor. Although the screenshot here describes how to replicate the issue with the parts involved and the Y coordinate, it would be a lot easier if a session file was attached. There's no need to search the database or even cut a section. We have access to the original view, can interact with the geometry, and even investigate the part numbers and revisions if necessary. What if you need to know the difference between two revisions of a drawing? There's no need to print them out and highlight each element as you go, or display them side by side on your computer screen. You can use TCViz. Just open the drawings together and specify them in the comparison tool. TCViz even anticipates what you might want to compare. The differences appear in either red or green and correlate to the drawing names in the project workspace. Looking closer, we can see that some of the information is new because it only appears in green. For the elements that overlap, all we need to do is toggle between the layers to see what has changed and what has just been repositioned. We didn't even need the original CAD drawings for this comparison. These are both PDF files. Now, all of the analysis demonstrated so far has been done from scratch using tools that are available in the base service level of Game Center visualization. Each higher service level has increased tools and functionality. For instance, from the standard service level, 
we have the ability to create 3D markups, capture an image from the viewing window, and to select parts by area. Let's talk about the select by area. Let's say we want to turn off all the front end components in the subassembly. Unfortunately, the product structure is flat and doesn't contain any functional grouping of parts, so we have to do it manually. Even in the base version of TCViz, you can multi select parts, but you have to hold down the control key and select them one at a time. You're also limited by what you can see. I turn these off there are still parts underneath. With select by area, I can draw a boundary and all of the parts that fall completely within that boundary will be selected, even if they're hidden from view. Earlier, we made a comparison between drawings. From the professional surface level of TCViz, we can do the same thing with 3D geometry. Here's a link to an earlier revision of one of the first parts we saw in this presentation. Let's compare them. We just need to enable the comparison tool and select the parts we want to compare. and then select the tricolor button. The result is a composite part. The features that are unique to each revision appear in red and green, and the common material is in blue. To more easily see the differences, we can mute the common color and to compare the parts directly, we can display them side by side and synchronize the views. Here's a selection of other features that are available in the PCBiz professional service level. I'm going to demonstrate transformations and motion files both of which are what you need if you want to illustrate an assembly method. Now, there are several ways uh, you can transform parts in TCViz. You can add a manipulator which has these handles, which allow you to translate and rotate parts directly. Then there's the transformation dialog box, which gives you options to rotate or translate with these radio buttons and to select the direction you want, activate with the slider. There are others, but they all behave similarly, and we've already moved a couple parts. So let's get into motion files, which also includes moving parts. And uh, these are stored as paths underneath this tab of a beam pivoting from one end. You select the parts you want to mo move and create a new motion file. Notice we have all these transformation options. When we complete a motion file, both the starting and finishing positions are preserved. Just create motion files for all the parts involved. And then add them to a playback tool. What if you want to check for interference conditions before release? 
In the mock-up service level, there's a clearance analysis feature. And even this top level tool is straightforward to use. As ever, we just enable the tool. Here we set, set the clearance. The parts we want to include in our analysis and run. In just a few seconds, we have a list of parts that are less than one millimeter clear of the dash, including 24 interferences, one of which we've already seen. To the floor. Here are just some of the other tools that come with the mock up service level. Let's take a quick look. We have the hide obscuring feature. This allows you to see how a part fits in the subassembly in its entirety by making all the surrounding parts translucent. Then we have the volume clipping feature, which allows you to see an internal view of your assembly by adjusting the size and position of the cube and then clipping the inside. It's like clipping a section, but with a cube instead of a plane. You can also clip the outside. Then we have the 3D alignment tool. This is like uh, another way of transforming parts, but instead of specifying a distance or an angle of rotation, you select features which locate one part to another. As ever, we just enable the alignment tool and then select the features that we need. They highlight as you hover over them so you can be sure that you're selecting what you want. Use preview and accept. Are there any questions?